Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. For today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why you are getting this throttle control warning light, also known as the uh, lightning bolt warning light. So this throttle control warning light can show up on any vehicle, but most likely you're going to find it on American cars such as Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep. So when you have this warning light show up and it starts to flash, that means there's an issue somewhere in the electrical system. So basically at startup, this lightning bolt light should show up on the dashboard for approximately about two seconds. So basically during the two seconds, what the computer is doing is running through checks of our electrical system to make sure everything's running properly. If it's not running properly, the warning light will turn on and start to flash. So basically when this warning light turns on, you're gonna experience the following symptoms. The first thing first you're gonna experience is gonna be limp mode. Basically it's gonna be a safety, safety feature that the computer is gonna set the vehicle to second gear and you kind of go faster than let's just say more about 30 40 miles per hour on top of that you're going to experience some sort of acceleration issue when you try to accelerate you're going to feel it's kind of sluggish and you can't accelerate that fast you're also going to notice you're going to have some sort of check engine light that's going to be turned on and you may have some sort of engine codes furthermore you may have some sort of idle issue your idle may run rough and also you may experience a poor fuel economy so the most common issue is going to be a faulty electronic throttle body. So basically the computer needs to sense the throttle angle. So the computer knows how much air that's going to be coming to the engine. Also the uh, computer work with various sensors such as the mass airflow sensors and any input sensor that can give the computer an idea the amount of incoming air that's coming in. So let's just say the, faulty, uh, the throttle body is faulty and the computer does not know the true angle of it. It's going to set the vehicle right away into the lift board and trigger that warning light. So before replacing the electronic throttle body, sometimes the throttle body can get stuck and basically it's caused by carbon buildup. So what you want to use is some sort of solvent such as carburetor cleaner and you want to clean the inside of the throttle body. So basically once you clean the inside of the throttle body, it may help free up the, uh, the plate that's opening and closing and that may actually fix the issue. On top of that, you want to check the TPS to make sure that is also working properly. You may also want to check the uh, the accelerator pedal a sensor as well to make sure that's actually working properly. So let's just say you decide to uh, clean your throttle body and let's just say you had a couple of connections that disconnected or let's just say you actually replaced the electronic throttle body. So when you do either these two procedures, either cleaning or replacing, what do you want to do some sort of reset procedure? It's going to be difficult, dif different on every single vehicle so you're going to have to probably look that up and see the proper way to do things. So basically from what I know is that when you're doing a reset procedure, it's very simple. You don't need a scan tool or a computer. Basically what's gonna, what's gonna be needed is gonna be, you're gonna need to cycle the key on and off and you're gonna have to wait for a few seconds. You have to step on the uh, gas pedal for a few seconds or brake pedal for a few seconds and so on. So basically it's gonna be a very common procedure that can be, can be done without a scan tool or any professional tools. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.